September the 8th. And I am coming to y'all with an update on my LiPo 360. I am nine weeks post-op out of surgery. And I'm still going through the itching, but not as much. Um, I'm noticing um, that I, the, the bottom of my stomach is hard it's like a hard um it's hard to the touch like a hard exterior i thought maybe it's like came from fluid which it it did it came from me retaining a lot of fluid and not doing a proper massage on time like i should have when i was retaining a lot of fluid i should have attacked the fluid right away with my, the hand massages or the rollers, the roller massages, which again, if y'all seen um, my videos, this is the proper massage tool. It's called a lymphatic massage tool that you can get off of Amazon for um, like $20. But um, the bottom of my my tummy is, is hard. The exterior of it is, is hard. And it's, um, it's been like that, um, like since like two weeks out of surgery. And I don't know if it's cause from scarring tissue. I think, it's, I think it's the scarring tissue from the surgery because it's hard to the touch. I'm not in any pain. I wouldn't say that I'm in any pain, but it's not like a soft layer of skin. It's hard like right down in this area where my tummy is, it's hard. But um, I'm not going through as much itching as I was the past couple of weeks that died down a lot. I'm still 15 pounds lighter than what I was from, from the surgery. I'm 15 pounds lighter from the surgery. Um, I'm actually feeling very good at 15 pounds. I didn't realize that 15 pounds being 15 pounds lighter, I can like maneuver so much easier than I did when I was, before I went into surgery, I was 210 pounds. And now I'm actually um, at 100, actually, oh wow. I lost 20 pounds, wow. I'm at 190 right now, 190 pounds. Before the surgery, I was at 210 pounds before the surgery, I wanna say, 205 pounds my weight would fluctuate with um me retaining water before the surgery i would be anywhere from 210 pounds to 205 pounds depending on if i was retaining a lot of water or fluid but now i'm at 190 pounds and it's so much easier for me to move around i feel lightweight i have no problems with bending down to get stuff bending over um when i go to work i work as a um a CNA GNA. I, I have the energy that I need to, to deal with anywhere from 15 to 20 residents, patients. I feel good. I'm 15 pounds, once, oh, 20 pounds lighter from the surgery. Um, I'm still detoxing. I'm eating light. Um, I make smoothies. I make fruit and vegetable smoothies. And um, I'm still exercising. So I'm coming along pretty well. Y'all hit like and subscribe. I'm going to do another lipo. I'm just going to do lipo this time in January. I say around January, February next year because I still have rolls on my back that I'm not happy with. And I'm going to tell them when I go for this surgery for the lipo to just focus on my back area. The fat on my upper back and the rolls on my mid back. I'm going to tell them to just focus on that and also to take away this extra fat. I can go to the gym and work on these areas, but it will take a little bit longer than what it would if I was to go into surgery. To do the lipo and get rid of them. But overall, I'm coming along. I'm nine weeks post-op. 
from the LiPo 360. I have no regrets at all. Um, like I said, I'm going to go back, hit like and subscribe so y'all can follow me. I'm going to go back in probably February of next year and do another round of LiPo. It's not going to be the LiPo 360. It's just going to be LiPo on my back area and my arms. So y'all can follow me and see how my body transforms. Um, I have to really admit this LiPo has been life changing for me. Before the surgery, I was like really sloppy, really sloppy. My my stomach would hang over my crotch area. My stomach was hanging over my crotch area. I was my waist was like big. I, uh, like I said, I was 20 pounds heavier before the lipo, and I, my my shape was very sloppy. I always had a nice derriere, but my midsection I was I was like sloppy. Now when I look in the mirror, I have like confidence. I love what I see when I look in the mirror, and I'm still working on myself. I'm one, I'm one hundred. I'm um, I'm five five. My height is five five. My weight right now is one hundred ninety pounds. I want to get to at least one hundred and eighty pounds, and like tone up, tone up my body parts, and I'll be satisfied. and I'll be happy. I want to stick with my dieting, eating clean, detoxing. I want to spiritually get my mind right. I want to learn how to, um, like, survive, survive, survivor tips and how to survive when uh, the, the shit goes, the shit hits the fan, when we can't depend on government assistance anymore, we can't depend on a white man supplying us with all the, the, uh, the, central, the central things that we need. I'm going to learn how to, like, survival, survival tips. I want to learn different languages. Like, I'm trying to, like, mentally, physically, and spiritually get my mind right. Because, like, right now it's 2021. It's, like, a lot of stuff going on we need to be prepared for. Like, really prepared for spiritually, mentally, and physically. So, I'm, like, I'm trying to get myself together. And I want to actually influence other people to be the, the, the best person that they can be individual that they can be so we can be able to survive all this nonsense that's going on in the world because it's, it's, it's a crazy world and it's, it's a selfish world it's, it's selfish it's, the, it's the, the nature the nature of the beast so you have to be, be the best individual the better part individual of yourself that you can be in order to survive in this selfish world but anyway Outstanding. It makes me want to shout. I can't sing. I know that. Love y'all. Have a good day.